This week on Around the Oval, our women's soccer team is getting ready to compete in the NAIA National Championship opening round, and we'll introduce to you a recent USAO graduate that interned at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. That's all right now on Around the Oval. Last Friday evening, number nine ranked University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma's women's soccer team was able to capture their third consecutive Sooner Athletic Conference Championship with a 7-2 victory over Wayland Baptist University. I feel incredible. I've never been prouder of a group of girls. I've never been more proud to be a part of something. Um, I mean, just taking this field every day with these girls and winning, it, nothing compares to it. The Jover dominated conference play in order to take home the regular season SAC title. Alongside this victory, the Jovers reached the impressive 20 win mark for the first time in the program's history. The women's team has been training hard this season and has been competing even harder. It's not over yet. Their eyes are set for the next goal. The Jovers are 20-1 this season and on a 10-game winning streak coming into the opening round. You know, we're, we're hoping we're, that, that we get the opportunity to host a game next next Saturday night and watch the teams play on Friday. And what a great event in Chickasha and for USAO to, to get to host a national championship round. So we're, we're just jacked for the girls and for the program and the university and, and, and the community. We love it here and we're proud to be part of it. And, and we hope we continue to represent them well. The Jovers impatiently wait till the results of Friday's match between Oklahoma Wesleyan and the University of Southwest to see who they play for the NAIA Women's Soccer National Championship opening round. Jovers will play Saturday, November 23rd at 6 p.m. at Hampton Field at Chickasha High School. Come out and support your Jovers as they continue to write history. Um, you know, we, we get back on the training field and we, we work on the things that we weren't so good on tonight and we try to just perfect our game and come out better next time. There's no place like USAO's Davis Waldorf Performing Arts Series presents Impact in concert on Thursday, November 21st at the Davis Hall Little Theater. This a cappella group will kick off the holiday season with Winter Wonderland, featuring a wide range of jazz and pop standards. Tickets at the door will be $15 for the general public, $10 for students and seniors 60 and over, and $5 for USAO students. For more information, visit usao.edu slash dwpas. She comes from Oklahoma City. Uh, she's a physics major. She's graduating cum laude today. She's participated as a member of the cross-country uh, track team here and uh, very active in the life of the campus. She was elected president of the USAO Student Government Association. And she served also as the South Regional Director for Oklahoma Student Government. This last summer, she was chosen as one of four individuals out of 400 who applied to work at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. USAO has really become a home to me. I'm going to miss it so much when I leave. But um, the professors here, they really, they're looking out for you. Their goal is the individual and not numbers. Um, I think most importantly, I've met a lot of professors even just on my last couple weeks that were influencing me as I'm heading out the door and still encouraging me to make a difference, to learn a different process of how to work in society. And I think that's what USAO provides. It provides one-on-one -on -one connections so that you can grow as a person. There's so, there's so many things that I've learned from there. Um, I think the first one was really solidifying that this was a place for me. This was something that I did want to pursue. Um, I worked with an amazing conservator. Her name is Shannon Brogdon Grantham, and she's the photo conservator there, and that's whose lab I worked in, who's an incredibly compassionate person, and you really see the difference conservation is making in individual people's lives, and she was really dedicated 
to creating exhibits that would help the next generation. She worked on the Oprah Winfrey exhibit that was just coming out. Um, I got to work with her on a collection of textile quilts um, that had some really powerful messages behind them. It made me kind of realize that while I love working in a lab, and that's really what I'm kind of more good at is behind the scenes, I could do so in a way that would impact others directly. First of all, there are so many amazing opportunities. You just, I think this campus is very different because I know everybody on this campus. It's not, it's very, it's a very tight knit community. Um, things that happen, you're talking to these people face to face, you're talking to students about the issues that they see on campus daily at, in the cafeteria. Um, I think that was the biggest thing. I was a little bit more of an introvert when I first came here. But I had so many people that were already in programs like student government that really were pulling me out and telling me, you know, here's some things that you can get involved with because they saw that I had a desire to be, to change stuff and to see change and to represent students on this campus. And so I really think USAO creates more leaders. That's its real, what makes it really powerful is that, and I really wanted to make sure that I did that later on by making sure that those that follow me had a base, so I was constantly trying to get people involved in those organizations that I saw that wanted to make a difference, because that's what USAO does. It's so close, it's such a tight-knit community, that it makes more leaders. Mm -hmm.